What's up everybody? Just a uh, one more follow up video. I've decided I want to give myself the option on whether or not to use the boom. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, I got it. It's not a big deal to turn it on, but it just feels like it's sucking out a lot of power and whatnot. And sometimes I just might want to use, you know, my old speakers. So uh, I think I got enough stuff here to do that. Um, I got a couple of mail to mail audio cables I'm going to need. Um, so I've decided to, I think what's going to make this easier and just better for my setup anyway, is to tie my computer audio in with the TV audio. Yeah, I apologize for the mess. That's all the packaging that everything came in here. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm going to take audio out from the computer, audio out from the TV and tie them together with this splitter. Um, so it's going to be mail to mail from, from a TV computer into these female slots. And then this input with both those tied together is going to go into this demuxer or whatever it's called. Uh, back in college, this would be, I think this would be kind of a demuxer. Uh, but this, I don't exactly know this thing works yet. <laughs> I just pulled the stuff out of the box. Um, but yeah, I think you can do you can do four inputs to one output, or you can do four outputs, one input to four outputs, I think is how this thing works. There's no like switch to reverse those, so I guess it just drives however <laughs> the uh, system's plugged up to it or driving. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to basically do TV, computer, into this, this is going into this, this is going to be the input here. And then I'm going to have out to the boom and out to my Bose speakers thing that I've been using for years before I got the boom set up. So um, I'm not going to show any pictures of it actually all hooked together because that'll be boring. But that's kind of the plan now. Um, man, I couldn't be more thrilled about the boom. It's uh, nothing's caught on fire yet. <laughs> Uh, it's working great. I think uh, I probably still need to add some electrical tape around the conductors, um, around the, uh, <laughs> around the conductors, around the inductor and capacitors that have some exposed wire. Um, uh, yeah, I feel like the base is maybe just a little soft. I'd still probably need to play with some of the knobs in the back. I'd like to try to boost the base just a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, but other than that, man, it's been great. I'm, uh, I'm happy I did this. Uh, yeah, it's worth it. Worth it. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to go diving in Miami in a week. I can't wait. It's been freaking cold here in the Midwest. Uh, this week was just brutal. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to some Miami, to, uh, some Miami weather. That's, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, I'll uh, mix those videos together, post them, and uh, can't wait. Can't wait. Till then, y'all take it easy. Just real quick, I totally forgot to talk about this thing. This is a ground loop noise isolator. And that's about as much as I can tell you about it. <laughs> I don't know, I was reading some forums or something and uh, somebody recommended to get one of these for one reason or another. Um, so it was only a few dollars, so I just got it. Uh, but yeah, so basically I'm going to plug the splitter. Uh, the splitter is going to plug into this thing, which is then going to plug into the input on here. So that's, that's how that's going to work. Uh, yeah, the back of this is like those old radio push buttons. If you can see this, you kind of select one channel at a time. Um, yeah, I'm still not, not quite sure how that's going to work with like inputs and outputs, but I'm, you know, I'll figure it out. <laughs> and there's also a volume knob here in case you're wondering what that is, but. That's it. Uh, next time I will see you under the waves.